everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are decorating a smaller apartment. This one is in the Spice District of Semai Shuno. It is the 17 Culpeper House apartment, which you can see in the upper left corner. And I believe that by default, this is like one of the starter apartments. I've decorated this apartment so many times because it's just it's a nice little box that you can do different things with like not it's not as small as Salim's apartment and that's nice because it, it, it gives you a little bit more leeway um but it's still like small enough to not make issues with the floor I don't know I don't know how to explain that but anyway so that's what we're decorating today and I kind of decided to try out an eclectic style for this apartment for the interior I am not like Oh, I, it's a it's a difficult one for me, eclectic. I just I have a little bit of like issues with it now and then, but you gotta you gotta practice to get better. So that's what we're doing today. I'm really hoping that you guys like this, even though again it is eclectic. It's not for everyone. It can look a little bit messy. I tried to at least tie it all together via the color scheme of the apartment. So we're going for a lot of neutral colors and then with pops of yellow, a little bit of blue and also some coral. But um, yeah, I hope you guys will like it. Oh, and also it's only for one to two Sims because there is only one bed in this apartment. And for a change, I also decided to try to make this have like a studio apartment feel to it actually. So we are working with an open floor plan today. I only placed down a wall divider between the bedroom area and the common area. So everything's quite open and spacious and it definitely got a little bit like the wall was a little bit too blank or bare at one point. So I had to do something about that with some extra windows, but you'll see that later on. It's fine. I do also jump back and forth between the different areas of the apartment a little bit just because I kept getting sidetracked to be honest. I was like, I got to do this in the kitchen. I got to do this in the bedroom. I got to do this in the living room and then just going back and forth between the different areas. I don't know, it's fine. So we're working on the kitchen. But uh, speaking of kitchen and food, we do have a sponsor for today's video. So today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So I'm sure you're all well acquainted with HelloFresh by now, but in case you're not, they are the world's leading meal kit company. They offer 50 different weekly recipe options and lots of food inspiration, so you'll never end up in a food rut. They also offer a variety of different meal options, such as family friendly for those of you with families. There's the fit and wholesome for those of you who are trying to get fit. And if you like me, don't really have a lot of time to cook in your everyday and you'd like to save some time, there's also the quick and easy meal option. Everything in their box is directly sourced from US farmers and also delivered within a week so you can count on everything being super fresh. And if you're looking for something a little bit more specific for your lunchbox for example, there's also the HelloFresh market to check out. On there you can find for example breakfast bites, snacks, sides, delicious desserts, and much much more. What I personally like about meal kits is that because everything is pre-portioned, you get to try a lot of different dishes without wasting food because you get to decide for example on Monday I want sweet chili turkey but Tuesday I'd rather have something like crispy cheddar chicken so it's a good way to avoid getting bored with your food and it's also super easy and HelloFresh can also boast of being the first carbon neutral meal kit company their recipes include pre-portioned ingredients which means both less food prep but also less food waste for you and all their packaging is recyclable so they got sustainability down to a T so if you're interested in checking out HelloFresh you can use my link at the top of the description box or you you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code pogavalinmay 16 for up to 16 free meals plus three gifts across six HelloFresh boxes and also free shipping. Once you click the link, my description will live update to count up the purchases and that is all. So thank you again so, so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. But most importantly, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you all so, so much. Now let's get back to today's build. So as for the kitchen, I did kind of cut a lot of it out because I was experimenting a little bit, but I did also include some of it. Just just know that sometimes I place down stuff and then I would delete it a little bit after, but I feel like 
some of the stuff that I was doing might like you might want to try that out in some of your builds. So I decided to include it anyway, but I didn't include the the entire thing because trust me, I was working on that kitchen for such a long time. It was ridiculous. Like it's a very small kitchen. It's basically just one wall of kitchen counters and that's it. But it just took me ages to figure out what I wanted to do. So we'll see in a second because I'm pretty sure that I fix some other stuff before we actually get to it but just know like I'm sorry for cutting a lot of it out but it took me such a long time such a long time for such a small kitchen it was quite dumb actually <laughs> so one thing I thought about while doing this apartment is in regards to the rugs actually like you saw just before I did want to try out some patterned rugs but I felt like you know eclectic is kind of it's not in in what it's not like a design style in itself it's an interior style that's basically made up mixed with different kinds of interior styles so on its own like you cannot make an eclectic chair but you can decorate an eclectic bedroom or an eclectic living room but because it's a mix of different styles it's kind of it's a bit of a challenge trying to tie everything together like I said, I was trying to do it with the, uh, oh, this is what this is what we kind of end up with in the kitchen, by the way. Um, it's basically, I tried different solutions to make this work. I think I've tried this with shelves before, actually, as well, and I didn't really fully like the look of it. So I tried with some different cabinets. I tried with some tables that you saw just before as well. One of the, or some of the tables from, I think they're from Get to Work, because I think they're actually supposed to be for shop displays or something. I've also tried it with this block item that's from Get Famous, but today we're using cabinets. I think they're the cool kitchen ones and then they're just turned around. So I had to play around with tool a lot and I know that that gets super annoying to watch as well because I go back and forth between live and build by mode all the time and it gets really annoying to watch so I just decided to not include it in the video but that's essentially what I do if you don't know what tool is by the way it's a mod it basically lets you place uh it lets you rotate items upside down sideways like tilt it whatever you want to do with it it lets you do that you can change out the windows in the apartments as well which you can't do without tool and you can do a lot of things with it you can basically place things wherever you want at whatever degree that you want it to be so i um i played around with that quite a lot for this kitchen but um I don't know, it's kind of, I kind of want to try to do this again, but make small adjustments to it, I think, because I'm not completely happy with it. But I also think it would be easier to do in a house, actually, where I have a little bit more space, if that makes sense. Because I only end up with three, no, five counters total, well, four and a half, and that includes the one where the stove is on, the stove top. And also the sink. So I didn't really have a lot of counter space to, to play around with, a lot of kitchen space to play around with, but I did want to do something with it because I started out placing down the jungle adventure counters and I was just like, I've used these so many times, we've got to do something else. Also over here, these bars, metal bars, they're supposed to look like a uh, window, window pole bar, a window, I don't know what it's called, but, or a curtain, curtain bar, curtain pole, I don't, you guys get what I mean, okay, you can see it. Yes, um, but I do know that they, they're clipping a little bit with the curtain itself. However, if I didn't place them on top of the curtain, there's a pole in the curtain that would have been visible if I didn't do it like this. So I just knew that I needed like a, a bar across the whole window. Otherwise, you can't actually imagine you'd, you'd be able to pull the curtain the entire way. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> so that's what that's about. But that bar right there, the metal bar, is from Get to Work as well, I think. So it's a handy little item. I use it sometimes for mirrors as well. I think I've used it for other stuff too, but I can't really remember. It's just, it's the funniest small things that are usable for so many different situations when you're building, I feel. That one is one of them. I do wish it came in some wood swatches, but I also recognize that it wasn't supposed to be for 
curtains. I don't actually know what it's supposed to be for, but I do recognize that it's not supposed to be for curtains. So I just wish it came in some more different swatches because that would be nice. I actually really like how the bedroom area turned out. It's very open despite this being a very small space, but I try to keep it kind of like clear on the sides and stuff. So I didn't, usually I would place down like end tables, bedside tables, nightstands, yes. And then maybe place like a plant next to it or something. But in this case, I went for lamps. As you can see, there are some smaller plants on top of the now cabinets instead. So it's like, it's less cramped because this way the bedside tables are smaller because they, they're like lower, if that makes sense, which means that, you know, the rest of the room is a little bit more, there's a little bit more space. I don't know if I'm making any sense right now, but I'm trying to get my point across and I feel like I'm failing. So we're moving on, but um, also trying not to over clutter it too much. However, I do like my clutter, so we're kind of going for it anyway. And I did want a photo collage somewhere in this apartment because I feel like that is very eclectic. However, I don't like to place too many paintings behind this kind of canopy bed. I don't know what it is, but something about these different posters and the paintings behind the bed, it annoys me. The look of it, I don't like it. So I decided to go for this sort of, I don't really know what it is, worn out painting or worn out something else that's from the industrial loft kit instead, but you can swap it out with whatever if you don't have that kit. But um, I decided to place my photo wall over here. And of course, in true eclectic style, also threw in a mirror that kind of swapped, swapped, mixed up the style of the pictures a little bit. Something that was very important to me while making this collage was that none of the pictures were the exact same style. So I'm trying to find right here, I took one of the bigger paintings because it had a different frame. There's a more modern looking frame. There's, that's just black. And there is one that's like light beige, light brown-ish. I just, I feel like eclectic photo collages are made up of different frames. That's just, in my experience, that's what I've noticed. So I wanted to include that in this apartment too. So that's kind of what I was doing over there. And then of course the, um, the, the funky mirror. I don't actually know what style that mirror is. I've completely forgotten, but um, let me know if you know though. And of course, kind of trying to not over clutter this kitchen because there really isn't a lot of space in it. And I feel like it kind of overtakes the entire kitchen if I end up over cluttering it. So we're adding a little bit, but not too much. I just wanted it to be like just a little bit. I know those plates are completely stupid because you can literally see the plates in one of the cabinets, but just bear with me. Okay, bear with me. <laughs> we need more kitchen clutter like plates and glasses and mugs and that sort of thing. I know you can find some in the debug catalog, but I also know that the majority of them go bad after like a day. They start to ooze in the game. So I don't, I know that there is one mug that doesn't do it, but I can't find it. I don't know which one it is. So I'm just not, I don't bother with that mug. <laughs> But it would be nice to get some more kitchen clutter like that, but not just not just like plates and that sort of thing, but like utensils. And I know we have the cool kitchen kit, but it didn't really come with a lot of clutter, just like a little bit. There's also a little bit from Dine Out, but that's basically it. And those packs are old by now. We need more of it. So also speaking of kits, aren't there two kits coming out next Thursday? Is it Thursday? I don't know, soon, right? The, uh, the camper one and the other one I forgot because it's a casket and I don't really care for those. But the, uh, the little camper or the camper kit or whatever it's called, I believe that one actually, it's a gameplay kit, but it comes with some stuff as well, some, some build by stuff. So I'll definitely look into that. I wasn't expecting a gameplay kit to come with build by stuff, which is a nice surprise because we haven't gotten a lot of new stuff for a while, so it would be nice to see. And some of it looks really cute, so we might do something with it. I'm not gonna make any promises because it's really not much to work off of. It's just like a few items, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So 
you can count on that or I'll try at least to use it in a backyard or something. <laughs> but I just saw that some of the items looked super cute, so we might give it a shot. Although it may only be like seven items, I don't really know. So I am expecting not too much, too many items because it is a gameplay kit, but it looked cute. I like the screen situation. That one I remember. But anyway, we are getting to the end of this video, so I'm gonna be wrapping up this voiceover. If you guys like this apartment, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the trade files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box down below. If you like books and you wanna check out my booktube channel, you can find that through the link tree, which is also linked in the description box. And thank you again so, so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate it so, so much. And that is all. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.